Now we're going to paint the model. I think painting is probably the most difficult part because you want your colors to look good. And you have to start from somewhere. And if somebody says just to use brown, you don't know what color of brown to use. There's all kinds of browns. And you want it to come out to what matches on my screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the earth tone colors that are on my web page. I've got the recipe for each of these colors, and I can also mail you color chips in the mail of these certain ones so that you can take them to Walmart or your local hardware store, and they will mix you up a quart each exactly of these. Now the first coat we're going to use is dark brown, and I'm using house paint, and house paint is just a little thick for your first coat. So if you're using house paint, what you're going to have to do is add a little water to it. It's one part water to two parts paint. Now if you decide you're going to use something like craft paint that you get at the local craft store, you probably will not have to dilute it with water. Now I'm going to put my first coat of dark brown on the main base here. And I'm using a one and a half inch wide trim brush that you get at a hardware store. I'm using a good quality one, uh, but this wide brush will cover a lot more area uh, a lot more quickly. And you're going to end up slopping this paint on. I'm going to start by the inside walls here because trying to get the paint down into the wall sometimes can be a little tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scrape the brush over like that. You see how that paint runs down in there? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the brush and you're going to try to jam it down into the cracks like that. So you're just going to jam it down, jam it down. And we just uh, continue to paint everything. We're covering everything, sandbags and all. This whole thing. One of the reasons I'm painting the inside first is that I can grab onto the outside right here where my thumb is without getting paint all over my hand. Now you will notice after a while of painting you're going to get some areas that pool up here. You see at the bottom of these posts we got paint pooling up. It's not a big problem but it'll just take forever to dry if you don't wipe those up. So go back and wipe up those drips off of there anytime that you see them pooling up at the bottom wipe those up and then bring the paint somewhere else on the model or scrape it off into the can. Now at this point the inside area is completely painted and I'm starting to work on the sandbags here. So you'll notice I'm scraping the brush over the sandbags, letting it run down and then jamming the brush down into it. And while we're here we'll get the side uh, rock face of this hill that we carved a little rock texture into. We'll see how that comes out in the end. Huh? Next we're going to paint the top piece. Um, I don't recommend painting the bottom. And it's kind of fun to show people the pink. Look, see that's just pink foam. Uh, they sort of recognize it when they look at it. But uh, paint everything else. If you paint the bottom, sometimes uh, paint wants to stick to paint a little bit. So when you put this thing back on and try to lift it back off, it'll want to stick down. If you don't paint this surface, it'll have a little bit easier time you know, lifting it off and not want to stick to the uh, previous paint. I'm just going to stick my finger through the hole here and that'll help hold it so I can do the inside and the outsides of the sandbags. We're going to paint this whole thing solid brown as well except for the underside. Now the last piece to be painted is the roof. Do it the same as everything else. Now once this thing is dry I guarantee you're going to have white spots occasionally. Right here is a, a one that I missed. I see a big white spot right there. If I look over here there's a white spot right down in here that I missed and on top of my reeling here I see a white dot here and a white spot here and other things that I did I, I sort of see them. This, this one right here with the sandbags I look up front and I got white spots. I got a white one right there and right there. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to take a smaller brush and I am going to poke and get all those. Just take my time and I'm going to look over this whole layout and any of those white spots I'm going to go ahead and go over. Now you're also going to notice on the ground floor of this that uh, there are some places that are a little bit bare. I see sort of white spots here and white spots here and even on top of the foam I'm seeing brush marks. Uh, that's because foam doesn't really take paint all that well. I mean it doesn't absorb anything so it's like kind of painting on plastic I guess. So you might go ahead all of the foam areas go ahead and give them one more coat of paint and any of the floor areas down here go ahead and give it one coat of paint. It doesn't have to be as heavy as the first coat.